Hi there, welcome to the fourth lesson of our Dialogflow series. In our previous lesson, we learned how to set and build a bot that used Dialogflow in a basic way. Today, we'll be training our Dialogflow agent with new intents in order to create a better FAQ bot. Let's start this off. For this lesson, we will be using Google Spreadsheets to get our training phrases organized. As you can see, we have two columns, intent name and training phrase. In training phrases, we will write all the sentences that we want our agents to be trained with. So let's write a bunch of them. For the intent name, as it is all for the same intent, let's write FAQ location. We can repeat this process for as many training phrases and intents we want to. Here, the intents we will create are FAQ location, FAQ hours, and FAQ delivery each of them with the respective training phrases. Now, let's add another page to the spreadsheet, this time for the responses we want for each intent trip. So for FAQ location, we will respond with the exact address of our restaurant. For the FAQ hours, the hours the restaurant is open. And for the FAQ delivery intent, that yes, we have delivery services. Great, now that we have our training phrases set and organized in our spreadsheet, we can go back to Dialogflow and start creating our new intents. I will start with the FAQ location intent. Put the name of the intent and let's start copying and pasting the training phrases. I will speed up this process. Once we're done, add the response and save. Wait until the training is completed. Remember to always test your intents in the top right corner to check if they work correctly. 20 training phrases per intent would be the optimal amount to have some security that the users won't trigger any non-existent one. Now, we will repeat this process for the FAQ hours intent and for the FAQ delivery intent with the respective training phrases and responses. Great, now let's go to Lambot and test the bot. We have this flow that we created in lesson three. Make sure to watch the video if you haven't. It's key to understand what is actually happening in the bot. So first of all, let's be sure that the agent in the Dialogflow block is the one we just trained. And yes, we only have one. Great, so publish, go to share, share with a link and open. Let's start by writing, do you offer delivery? Cool, we get the correct response. Let's now try, where is the location of the restaurant? And as you can see, we get the address of the restaurant. Let's now test the last intent we made type in something like, when are you open? Awesome, so that's it for lesson number four. Tune in to next lesson, where we will understand what entities are in Dialogflow and what you can do with them in Lambda. So I'll see you there.